this video we would be learning how to sort an array in C programming. So for that we would first understand the logic of how to sort array and further we would move towards the C programming code. Now here I have taken the input as 69417 and my expected output is 14679. So basically I am sorting the numbers which are provided in the input in ascending order. I am sorting the numbers in ascending order. Now when I place this numbers in an array, this is what it looks like, right? 69417 as it is, I am placing it in the array. So the indexes which I would be having is from 0 to 4. As there are 5 numbers in the input, the indexes which would be used would be from 0 to 4. So 6 is placed at the index 0, 9 is placed at index 1, 4 at 2, 1 at 3 and 7 at index 4. Now the logic which you would be using here is comparing the numbers of two indexes. So let's start with the index 0. So what I am doing, I am comparing the number at index 0 with each and every number of other index. So if you see here first I would be comparing the number at index 0 with the number at index 1. Later on I would be comparing the number at index 0 to the number. Later on, I would be comparing the number at index 0 with number at index 3. And afterwards, the number at index 0 with the number at index 4. So now going at the first step back, when I am comparing the numbers at indexes 0 and 1, the numbers which are compared are 6 and 9, right? So I am comparing 6 and 9. What, what I am doing here, if 6 is less than 9, then I don't have to do anything. Okay, so this is the condition which I need to check. The number which is at the previous index that is at the index 0 should be always less than the number at the other index that is on this side right so 6 is less than 9 so I am not doing anything now while I am comparing the number at index 0 with the number at index 2 what I am doing I am comparing 6 and 4 so what I am checking whether 6 is less than 4 or not so it is not true so in that condition what we would do we would uh, swap this two numbers so if you see here what I am doing initially my array was 69417 so as this condition was not true I have swapped the numbers 4 and 6 so now 4 is at index 0 and 6 is at index 2 we are not touching the numbers 9 1 and 7 in this case so as you see 9 1 and 7 are kept as it is while 4 and 6 are swapped now in the next step I would be comparing the numbers at index 0 and 3. So in this case now the number which I have at index 0 is 4 right. So I would be comparing 4 with the number at index 3. So that is 1 here. So I am comparing 4 and 1. So 4 is less than 1. No again our condition is not satisfied. So what we would do we would swap this to numbers. So now 1 comes at index 0 while 4 goes at index 3. 4 would be placed at index 3 here. So I am writing 1 here, placing 9 and 6 as it is and keeping 4 here and 7 as it is. In the last step, now I am comparing the number at index 0 and 4. So what I have 1 and 7. 1 is at index 0 and 7 is at index 4. So I am comparing 1 and 7. So 1 is less than 7. Yes, our condition is satisfied. So I would not be swapping any numbers here. So this array is kept as it is 19647. Now in the next step what we would do? We would move towards the next index. Right. So initially we had taken 0. Initially we had taken 0 and we were comparing it with every other index. Here in the next step I am taking 1 here as the index and I am comparing here with all the next indexes. So I am comparing 1 with 2, 1 with 3 and 1 with 4. So in the last what we had as the array 19647 right. So here I am taking as it is 16947. Again I would be checking the numbers at the index 1 and 2. So we have 9 and 6. So 9 is less than 6? No. So what we would do we would swap these numbers. So now I have 16947. I have swapped these two numbers and this is what I get here, right? In the next step now I will be comparing the numbers at index 1 and 3. So what I get? 1 and 3 are here. 
you can see here that 1 and 3 what we have 6 and 4 6 is at index 1 and 4 is at index 3 so 6 is less than 4 no again our condition is not satisfied so we would be swapping 4 and 6 so what we get 1 4 9 6 and 7 in the third step I would be checking whether the number at index 1 is less than the number at index 4 or not so I am checking whether this 4 is less than 7 or not so 4 is at index 1 right and 7 is at index 4 so 4 is less than 7 yes our condition is satisfied so we would not do any swapping in this step so our final array is 1 4 9 6 and 7 now in the next step what we have we would be moving towards the next index that is 2 now so 2 would be compared with 2 indexes 3 and 4 so 2 and 3 2 and 4 so while doing the comparisons here of 2 and 3 we would be checking whether this 9 is less than 6 or not as 9 is at index 2 and 6 is at index 3 so 9 is less than 6 no so what we would do we would swap these two numbers so we would be keeping 1 and 4 as it is here and I am writing 6 here as I have swapped it with the number 9 so 6 9 and 7 as it is in the next step what I have I would be comparing the numbers at indexes 2 and 4 so I would be comparing now the numbers 6 and 7 as 6 has been placed at the position of number 9 here 6 is less than 7 yes so we would be keeping this array as it is so what we have in the end 1 4 6 9 7 now we would be moving towards the next step that is for the index 3 now index 3 would be compared only with the last index that is 4 so we would be comparing the numbers of 9 and 7 so we would be checking whether 9 is less than 7 or not 9 is less than 7 no so what we would do we would swap these two numbers so keeping 1 4 and 6 as it is from the previous array and we would be swapping these two numbers so what we get in the end 1 4 6 7 9 which is our expected output so you understood how we did the sorting part now let's understand how we would write the code so what we would do here we would write i here so if you see here this is my column i and if you see this numbers what are this this are starting from one value plus then the value of i so you can write here i plus one and then this goes on incrementing right initially the value of i is zero and it remains as it is but here for the next variable it starts from the value i plus one that is zero plus one that is one and then it goes on incrementing okay so we can name this as variable j and this goes on incrementing until the length of your array right so the length is 5 here and the indexes which are used are from 0 to 4 so what we can do here we can use less than 5 which is the length of the array right now for the next part here the value of i is 1 and what we had done for the value variable j j was our i plus 1 right so as you see our pattern is repeating here the value of i is 1 so the value of j is i plus 1 that is it will starting from 2 and it would go incrementing until less than 5 it is same as as we had here now for the third one also here this is the value of i and this is your j which is starting from i plus 1 and it goes on incrementing until less than 5 so here my value of i is 3 and the value of j is and this would go until less than 5 right so basically if you see we are able to see two loops here this would be my outer loop and this would be my inner loop okay now let's move forward towards the code code for sorting array in ascending order if you see the program we are starting with the library file include stdio.h file which is also known as the header file this file is used for printf and scanner statements then we have our void main function and here we are declaring the variables i and j this two would be used in the loop temp is used for swapping the variables and we are using the array num with the size 5 
then we are telling the user with the printf statement that please enter five numbers and we would be saving this five numbers using the scanf statement and in the array num now as this numbers are integers we would be using percentage d here and we would be storing it in the array num and we are using here the for loop from the iterating from the value 0 to 5 so basically the index would be from 0 to 4 0 1 2 3 4 so we are saving the numbers which we get from the user in the array num 0 to num 4 so here if you see we have taken two loops one is for i and one is for the variable j and we have given the condition less than 5 in both of the cases the value of i would be starting from 0 while the value of j would be starting from i plus 1 as we saw in the logic before now in the inner loop what we would be doing we would be checking whether the number at index i is greater than number at index j if yes then we would be swapping then we would be swapping both the numbers now for for swapping the variables at index i and index j we are using the third variable temp here so what we are doing here we are assigning the value of num i to temp then we are assigning the value of num j to num i as we have already saved the value of num i in the temp variable then we would be saving the temp variable the value at the temp variable into the number array at index j so basically we have swapped the values at number i and number j for detailed program you can visit the uh, card video here above and you can see the full detailed program of how the swapping of two variable works now coming back here in our program after this step we have swapped both the variables so we would be now printing our num array back to the user so we would be printing from the value 0 to 4 with the index 0 to 4 and we are directly printing the values. So going back to our main input and output, our input was 69417 and by writing this program and executing it, what we get is the output, we would be getting the array in ascending order 14679. Thank you for watching the video. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.